Hello guys and welcome to Hitman 3. Some very exclusive gameplay from the very first level. I want to be completely transparent. Uh, this code was provided by Square Enix. It is a preview code and I am playing on PC. So uh, on a very high-end PC. So your experience may vary uh, based on recent drama. I have to say that. Anyway, uh, let's begin the gameplay. Let's jump in to the very first mission. Dubai. We trapped the constant. Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. Welcome to Dubai. If you guys happen to know where that comes from, props to you. 47. Props to you. Come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Such an iconic voice. Oh, you, you recognize it straight away. It's uh, unlike any other voice. It's very, like, monotone, but it's, yeah, you get, you get a little bit freaked out, actually, when you hear that voice. So we're in Dubai. We're very, very high up in the highest tower in the world. And we have to assassinate two targets. Um, I'm only allowed to show you guys a certain amount of gameplay, so hence it may be cut, it may be a little bit short. Locked. 47, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I can do that. I think I can override the Windows controls from here. Nice. We're in. 
We are in. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. So close indeed. This feels very much like a, obviously a sequel to Hitman 1 and 2, the recent installments. It is definitely a continuation. If you guys do like those games, you're not going to like this one. But this is a epic entrance <laughs> that happens here. I was like looking for a costume. There's a lot of people outside here and I was a bit concerned. But somehow, how does he do that? Wow, <laughs> that is a talent. That was incredible. <laughs> Welcome to the Barge Alcazar. Thank you very much. It just screams wealth. Screams wealth. I see a lot of people in um, influencers and celebrities go into Dubai recently. I'm like, how do you, how do you get there? We're in lockdown. I'm so confused. But um, somehow they do it, and I get very jealous. Familiar faces here today. And this has been a dream of mine for a great many years. And as all of you know, I am from one of the less privileged sides of the respectable. So I'm already starting to look for an opening on how to take down our two targets. If we can somehow bring the targets together and take them out, boom. That'd be that'd be great. That'd be great news for us. So that's gonna be our plan for now. I would like to thank my cousins. Oh a prompt. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. You'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. Okay, let's do this. How the mighty falls. So again, try and get him into a room. It looks like the staff area could provide you with a viable route to the server room. All right, let's go. Uh, we're still not really in a, a costume as such. We're in, a, we're in our entrance outfit. Hopefully, we can sort that out fairly soon. It's time to go beneath the stage. There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. All right, try this. Four, seven, zero, six. Oh, well, that's useful. <laughs> There's quite a bit of security <laughs> Thank here. you. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? I guess. So obviously they're going to recognize us straight away, so we need a disguise right now. Uh, 100%. There's no way we can sneak past without a disguise. Good old distraction there. Distractions are back. It, it's very much like Hitman 2, 100%, and I'm all for it. All for it. I actually like how I turn the game on, and it has Hitman, Hitman 1 there, Hitman 2, Hitman 3, all within the same platform, the same game. So you can access all the levels. I like that a lot. I want your costume. Thank you very much. So go to sleep. Nice fresh disguise. Oh yeah. Feeling sharp. Chuck him in the cupboard. There we go. Dump him! Sit, sit there, have a nice little sleep. So apparently we we want to go back outside again. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Okay. That guard on the right will notice me if I walk past him. So, luckily, he did turn right there. So, we're good. I need to get outside. I can just distract them. I think I can open that window remotely. I know you can. Scan the <laughs> I've done it already. Camera and I'll have a try. I need to distract that guard. What can I use? Just throw anything. There you go. Over there. Put some effort in it, like you mean it. I think that woman saw me. And we're out. 
Sheikh Al Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. <laughs> That's what the guy sounds like, I swear. He's got some like crazy evil laugh. All right, uh, there's another window here. Can you open it up for me? Is the window like a, a large solar panel? What it looks like. server room should be behind one of the doors in this hallway. I believe it is. I think it's this one. Yeah, storage. <laughs> server room. We found it, but this guy's in the way and he will suss us out. Oh, look, a hammer. This is so satisfying. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's still so satisfying. Oh, uh, I love it. Drag your body into the cupboard again. There's going to be so many people waking up in about I don't know, a couple of hours just in a, in a cupboard. Uh, I'll take the hammer. Might as well. There we go. Tiny bit of blood on the floor. Not too much. Just a slight concussion. He's, he's fine. So there's the server room. Oh, yes. We've made it. Hmm, a calendar function. We can use this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, 47. All right, I'm no hacker like Olivia, but I think you need to pull one of the racks here to gain access to the terminal. Hmm, just pull it out. Ah, oh, what? Damn it, a silent alarm has been tripped. Security is on its way. Hide, 47. What do you mean, what, just hide here? Really? Should we just hide here? Alright. They're actually fairly stupid, so it's fine. <laughs> Think we're good? Because we currently don't even have a weapon at the moment, as far as I know. I don't think we might... Actually, we might have a silent pistol. I'll take that back. It's all fine here. Oh, I hate this system already. So... They basically didn't find us, and we need a security keycard, and this person has one. So tempted to push. Of course, he has the keycard on him, so that would be a little bit stupid. Right, I'll hide you again. Again. Cupboards. Mm. Perfect. So I have the keycard. And this should hopefully let us access the servers without it going off again. Fingers crossed. Swipe. Beep. That must have done something. Can you see anything different in the room? So this server, the text was slightly different. So I'm hoping this is the right one. I hope. Um, yeah, the text just looks slightly different. Good. Yes. We're in. Now all you need to do is access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Oh, the meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. We basically hacked their huh. calendars Surely and yeah. the meeting Do is going place right now and we shut all the security down and it's just us. Just What's us three. Carl? Did oh, I certainly did not. Beautiful. I have no idea what's going on. Gentlemen, Gentlemen. what's the meaning of this? You... You are the one responsible for all this. Gray, what do you want? Something that has been a long time due. Revenge. Revenge? How banal. You killed Cobb, Navikov, Caruso, the Washington twins, everyone at Haven. You broke into our bank, and you outed Providence to the world. Whatever perceived slight we've done to you is insignificant to the amount of damage you've caused us. You've caused the world. You're a murderous terrorist. Nothing more. It's time to take them out. <laughs> They're freaking out. Where the hell is this guy's not even sussed me out, look. Don't hit me. Ooh. This guy actually opens up the security doors. 
this Stuyvesant won't Fair be night. a problem anymore. Done. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not He's dead, mate. He's yet. gone. He's done. He's done for. Now time to escape. Uh, we are running out of gameplay here. I would love to show you guys more, but um, there's just sections. But yeah, we've done it. We did it. I guess that was like the main sort of playthrough in terms of um, all the sort of story elements. I have done a few more sort of optional assassinations, like using his piece of art to blind him, for example. But yeah, we've run out of gameplay there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. There'll be a, a link to the game in the description below. And the game does release on the 20th of January. So not far. It's very, very close. And I'll, I'll obviously do a full playthrough of the game when it comes out. Cannot wait. Thank you guys for watching. And bye-bye.